Hi, Barbara here. Do you have hair on your chinny chin chin? Well, let's get rid of it. We're not the three little pigs. Unwanted facial hair is not for us, and it be can begin in perimenopause, and it's no fun. Actually, even younger women can have it, especially if you have PMS or PCOS. The key cause of facial hair is the relationship between the levels of estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone, and something called DHT, which is dihydrotestosterone, which increases as menopause approaches or when you have PCOS. So now you may begin to get hair on your chin, your jawline, your cheeks, even your forehead if your DHT is going up. 40% of women complain of facial hair. I hear you, and here's what can be done. As I said, progesterone is key. Lack of progesterone leads to an increase in the androgens, and they're associated with male-like characteristics, such as facial hair. Progesterone levels decline through the years, and when we stop ovulating, we're making almost none. So you can raise your level of progesterone and your androstenedione levels will gradually decline because progesterone is a regulator for the entire endocrine system. Facial hair will start to diminish and, drum roll, the hair on your head will begin to grow back. Yay! Win, win. A clear chin. Apply one quarter teaspoon a progesterone cream daily to your soft uh, skin, the areas that are rich in capillaries. That's your neck, your upper chest, your inner arms, even your hands. And definitely put some directly on your face where the hair is. Both menopausal and menstruating women report facial hair decreases after about four to six months of progesterone use. So you have to be consistent and apply it twice a day. Many um, other doctors will recommend saw palmetto to women with facial hair because that decreases DHT. And a starting dose can be 160 milligrams one to two times a day for the saw palmetto. Now, what about spironolactone? You may have heard of that. It's a prescription. Um, doctors can give it to people with facial hair. Now, it will suppress androgens and new growth, but doesn't have effect on the existing hair. So, use the progesterone. Now, I want to remind you, this process takes patience. In about three months, you'll see the facial hairs start to thin out, and in six months, they're less coarse and less dark, and the tip of the chin is usually the last place to go, so don't concentrate on that. Just watch the overall look. There you go, back to normal, and that youthful, smooth face. Barbara's friends don't sit back and let bad things happen to good people. Facial hair, get out of Dodge. And by the way, if you're interested in increasing the hair on your head, watch my Conquer Hair Loss video. My hair is getting so thick, I actually had to go to the beauty supply and buy a taming product for the first time in my life. I'm almost annoyed, but not really. Thank you for watching. I care about the hair you want and the hair you don't want.